Our next speaker, <laughs> elected by a bipartisan majority in a special election to bring transparency to county government. If so, why then is he hiding his script up here? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President of the Newcastle County Council, representing the Newcastle Chamber of Commerce, Tom Kovac. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming down to Newark. It's not my first time being in Newark. I spent uh, my favorite five years finishing up a four-year degree down here in uh, Newark. It's a fantastic time for me. Uh, actually, I was able to get two degrees in, in that time period, chemical engineering and psychology, because they fit so well together. Uh, you know, as my dad said, uh, you know, he was an engineer, and he said, what do you want to do, be the first un engineer to understand people? Well, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Well, as, as Rick said, I won a special election. I'm part of a uh, 10 to 3 minority in county council. Uh, it was something uh, very nice. I was elected by more de 2,000 more Democrats voted in the election, and I won by 5,000 votes. So that's, that's a pretty special thing. Uh, you know, so the election was bipartisan. But my reception after I got there, maybe a little less than welcoming. We'll see. There we go. <laughs> so what is the president of the county council anyway? I'm elected at large over the entire county. Uh, we have 12 other councilmen that represent 12 other slices of the county. Very diverse, very interesting population. So. <laughs> What's my function down in county council? You know, oftentimes it's a mediator, a, a peacekeeper, a facilitator, sometimes occasionally stirring the pot just a little bit. So I'm, I'm not sure who I am in that picture, but, uh, you know, president of county council doesn't have all these extreme uh, amount of powers. You know, I set the agenda, I preside over a few meetings here and there, preside over executive committee meeting, and even then they wanted to take away some of my powers. But, you know, that, that's all right. You know. I was so entrenched that they, they thought it would be nice if I got back to my other full-time job. <laughs> and they made a suggestion to help me get back to that as quickly as possible. I did beat the over-under by four weeks, by the way. <laughs> you know, so we have these friendly folks uh, at County Council always looking to share and occasionally steal my gavel. Uh, but, you know, if I was upsetting the status quo, that's, that's what I was elected to do. Uh, get down there uh, to... Uh, County Council, really, you know, how was I able to, to get in and be prepared? Coaching kids soccer, you know, a lot less drama than County Council. So that was a great opportunity for me to, to get in there and, and really hone my instincts of petty, immature behaviors. But two of the things that the county does most are uh, most prevalent are, are public safety and land use issues. And these are the important things that the county has to face. So how do you communicate with constituents? You know, I tried some traditional means, and then, you know, maybe, well, maybe not quite that traditional. Uh, we moved on to, you know, email, to uh, town hall meetings, to letters, look, getting through computer, and, and all those methods are great. Uh, but nothing really does beat the face-to-face -face meeting. So we've had town halls. I don't... I'll do coffees, I'll have uh, burger presentations and things like that. Now, all these look like fun events and quite frankly they are because I'm not in county council, so I'm probably smiling. Um, another way to communicate with people is through social media, which I might try to venture into one of these days if I can get over my innate shyness. Um, you know, as Ken Grant and others know, it, it uh, you know, you really have to you know, think a lot of yourself to stand up in the front of a presentation and look down at your, your, oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> just a second. Just a second. No. Uh, so social media is a great way to keep in touch uh, with your constituents and get the news out there when it happens when you have a schedule like this. And Grant actually helps me keep my schedule together, and I think he put some of the highlights from, what was this, Tuesday on there. So social media is a great way to provide that instant access between you and your constituents. Nothing for me beats, beats the thrill of going out and meeting your constituency. All the stuff I talked about at the beginning, all the harassment, all the pettiness, all the infighting, all the political BS, 
really this makes up for it, getting out in the community, talking with constituents, solving you know, their problems, listening to them. It really does you know, help all the baloney that happens on Tuesday nights in county meetings. So if you can do that and if you meet all your constituents, well, you know, at the end of the night, if you do the right thing, you can get to sleep with a clear conscience. And, that, and that's what I try to do. Either that or I'm just really tired. <laughs> so thank you very much. <laughs> Seriously, there he is being sworn in, and he's on Twitter. And the message was, wow, this is cool. <laughs> hey, kids, this is cool. All right, now uh, here comes the charity auction portion of here. It's going to be a live auction for this fabulous LG phone. If anybody would like this, uh, you have all the really cool contacts of Tom Kovac, <laughs> including campaign contributors <clears throat> and $500 we'll start off at. Dude. Still, you are so old school. He's got the hamster dance on this still. That's so 1998. Alrighty. So.